Welcome, you awesome Squatchers, Off Grid and Whiskey. Yes, I am not at the Sasquatch Ranch. I repeat, I am at my sister, the Gunrunners, and I have a hot ticket item that I've had here, undercover storage for about a year and a half. I found this at a garage sale, <laughs> and I went, "What is this?" And I thought it was really cool. I was about ready to go off grid. Once I figured out, figured out what it was, and I went, "Oh." I see. I get it. So exclusive first time on Off Grid and Whiskey. Here we go. The reason why I'm doing the video now here at my sister, the Gun Runners, because tomorrow I'm going to load this thing up and take it to the Sasquatch Ranch. And I'm going to need some hard pipe hitting bros to take it. So they don't want to be on camera. So I need to show it now. The pre funk. Here it is. You can see the stack right there. <laughs> yeah, right here. You see it? Oh, I got to bend over. <laughs> there it is. It's about 500,000 million pounds. Let me back this dingus up. About 600 pounds. All steel. Panther. What is it? What's your guess? I know what it, the name is solidified. You're not going to, we're not going to have a contest on what to name this. It is Cleveland, the steamer. Yes, it is a, a steamer. With an engine. Look at this. That's the boiler, the big round. Let's get another angle, shall we? Yeah, there. That's the boiler. There's the smokestack. There is the piston. There's a one piston show. You build a fire right in this firebox here. You put water in first. There's a sight glass right there. Build a fire. That creates steam which runs this big piston right here, which turns that wheel. And guess what you do? You put a belt. You put a different wheel on. I gotta put a, a V belt wheel and bigger. The bigger, the better. More uh, rotations per 250 angstroms of 1.21 gigawatts. Anyways, connects to an alternator, just like in your car. That alternator goes to a battery. You charge batteries. Instead of solar and wind and turbine, oh mine, uh, this can charge batteries. Oh, whoa, I really might have overdone the bend over. <laughs> that didn't sound good. But I'm excited. This is Cleveland, the steamer. Look at this thing. It's about, oh boy, look at this cool. It's got a whistle, steam, steam whistle. That's probably more expensive than what I paid for the whole system here. I won't tell you. There's a guy. There's a guy. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Homo sapien, male. He builds these. I didn't know what I was getting into when I saw it at a garage sale. I go, what? And then I researched it, and it came from a guy in Anacortes, Washington. I found this in South Aberdeen, Washington State, by the way. <laughs> right next to the meth lab explosion. Yes. We'll get into the deets later, but I thought... You would enjoy the first look exclusive of Cleveland, the steamer. There it is. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I don't know. I got to figure figure out how to work it. <laughs> I've contacted the guy. He's really cool. I want to take it to him because I'm only about I'm about a three hour drive to Anacortes, and have him just on the trailer. Hey, where do we start? I watched enough videos where I can probably do it myself, but. Uh, just needs oil and firewood and water. That's it. And then you connect the alternator and charge batteries. <laughs> I know the whistle on his videos are it's loud. It is just he puts a, a different whistle every time. Anyways, it needs a little bit of uh cleaning and upgrading. Uh, I need a pressure gauge. These steam engines are safe, by the way. Everybody thinks, oh, I'm gonna blow myself up. No, it's a myth, just like Millie Vanilli. They blew themselves up. No, it's not true. All right, stay tuned. Next scene of this will be in uh, the Sasquatch Ranch. So look forward to this. I need ideas how to run it. <laughs> Let me know if you know how to run one of these. <laughs> I think it's cool, though.